Hey gamers, Tony here from the ClassicLeague.com Gaming and Electronic Podcast and I'm back with another app review. Before I get started, I want to mention that this video is recorded using the iPad 2 and the Avermedia Game Broadcaster HD capture card. Well, Square Enix, now the owners of the Tatio Corporation, are beginning to port some of the classic games from that developer to the iOS device. Shoot 'em ups seemed to be the target, and Ray Force hit the iPhone earlier this year, and it was only a matter of time before we saw more titles in that series released. This week, Raystorm was released as well, and that's what I'm reviewing for you today. A little backstory Raystorm is a 2D shmup that was originally released in the arcades back in 1996, and a year later was ported to Sony's original PlayStation game console. Since then it has seen a lot of versions, ports and remakes, and now has even been made to the iOS platform all these years later. I'm a fan of shmups and even though they're traditionally difficult games, but the bigger question is here, is this one worth picking up for the iPhone since we've most likely played it on another system? Well, let's take a look and see what this portable game packs in a punch. First of all to the gameplay, uh, this is not a universal app, it's made native for the iPhone and iPod Touch and even though it will play on the iPad you have to stretch it into 2x mode and that's the version you're seeing here. You get two main modes in the iOS port, an iPhone mode which adds new enemy placements, color schemes, and a Tansmix soundtrack as well as an easier difficulty. Then you get the classic arcade port which is a direct port of the arcade game from 1996 with increased difficulty. The options are limited, with the most of the flexibility coming from the ability to change between difficulties on a sliding scale, changing between easy, medium, and hard. You can also adjust the move ratio where you want your buttons left or right to work, and if you want to auto or manual fire. You play as either one of two famous ships, the R Grey 1 or R Grey 2, and there is Game Center support as well with a really straightforward achievement list. Raystorm for the iOS is pretty much the famous shmup that we love from the retro years ported directly to the iOS. Patio and Square did not include much in the iPhone mode to really make the game so much different from the arcade mode, other than the minor improvements I mentioned above. Now you can play through the levels in each mode with a progression or select and jump to any level you want automatically from the start. And although the original Raystorm was praised, it was also criticized for being too short, and I would say that the same applies here. Now, as far as controls are concerned, obviously I don't need to talk about graphics and sound, because I mentioned the new soundtrack, and graphically it's just a port from the old game, so you're going to get that retro feel. But as far as controls go, you just simply um, slide your finger around the screen, the ship follows it in a pretty good one-to-one -one motion, so I'd say the controls are pretty good. And then if you choose auto fire, auto fire is your uh, main weapon. If you choose manual, you have to hit a button for that. And then also the same applies with the bomb or the wipeout, you know, weapon that most shmups have. Um, you just click the the one button and it, you know, releases the bomb. So the controls work fine, and, and, and really shmups work well on the iOS device. So I was pretty pleased with that. In conclusion, most of us have played a game from this, this series in our lifetime. And we've enjoyed it, and fans of the Shmup series will be excited to see a faithful port come to their iOS devices and they'll want to pick this one up. If you're a fan of retro arcade titles, especially in the Shmup genre, then I recommend you pick up Raystorm, it's a blast from the past. But if you're looking for a more challenging Shmup with new graphics, sounds, and optimization for your iOS device, then I recommend passing on this one, especially with the steep price tag of $8.99, which is just high for a game like this. There are way better options available to you on the App Store. Once again, my name is Tony, signing off from the Classic League Gaming and Electronic Podcast. Make sure you like and favorite and subscribe to our channel. And make sure you go over to G2PO.com, look up our show, and follow us there as well. Have a great day.